So now I have you thinking that going on a canoe trip is a great idea, but you don't want to go alone and you're not sure who to invite to come along with you. This is a very important piece to the puzzle of making a successful trip. You're going to be isolated out there in the wilderness with these people and you want to make sure that you all get along. My favorite canoe partner is someone I know I get along well with in any situation and that is my beautiful wife Jenny. We have an understanding of our strengths and most of all we get each other. But even she can't come sometimes and that forces me to branch out and find other people. The ideal number of people to have in a party out there is either four or six. All of the campsites in La Veronderie are limited by the number of tents you can set up. For example, a campsite marked with a two allows for two tents. Some of the best campsites are twos and threes, and by keeping your group small, you allow yourself more flexibility in where you can stay. When thinking about whether or not someone is a good fit for a trip, I take into consideration these criteria in this order. Number one whether or not they are someone fun to hang out with around a campfire. Number two, tolerance to mosquitoes and insects. Number three, physical ability. Four is canoe camping experience. And five is work ethic. You may be asking why I rank the tolerance to bugs so high. It has less to do with the bugs themselves and more to do with the personality indicator. Someone who can laugh and have a good time, even when they are surrounded by black flies, is the type of person you want on your trip. Another way to think of it is, you want to bring someone who you'd be willing to go on a long road trip with, especially since you will probably be on a road trip to get to the park. I have also had decent luck with bringing people I don't know on a trip. I found that if you make it very clear what the trip will be like, and they still want to come, then most likely they will work out great. Another good idea is to show an interested person this video. That should give them a pretty good sense of what they're getting into. Dogs are also great companions on a canoe trip. And the best part is that they are totally allowed in La Veronderie. Just remember to be a responsible pet owner and I'm sure your four-legged friend is going to have the best time of their life.